Oh boy, so look man, y'all got, damn, badass chair. Y'all man, we got a special thing today that we're doing today, a special video. Bless you. We're reacting to Bill Burr roasting people to their face. To their face! Now we ain't gonna play no games today, man. Look, I need y'all to do me a favor. Go down below, hit that like button for your boy. You know what I'm saying? Just because, man, it helped me out. She sends the videos all around the YouTube algorithm, gets all nice and cuddly with me. You know what I'm saying? So I just need y'all to do that for me, man. And if you're new, go think about subscribing, man. We get lit over here. We doing fire videos. I itch this shit, man, right in the middle of this, man. Let's get started, man, before I go blind. Oh, my egg. I have this uh, mic on, so. Yeah, that's all right. Be a gentleman and help me out with my <laughs> Hey, Cody, can you believe that marriage didn't work out? <laughs> yeah, I can't believe your relationships don't work out. <laughs> you want me to be a soft, uh, you know, you know, one of those Twitter tough guys? When guys come and sit on the couch, I go right after him. Don't you respect me for that? No, I don't. <laughs> big dumb desk hiding behind your microphone. <laughs> keeping it real, Colin. Yeah, I kept it a hundred. What about when you can? Pizza, but I kept it a hundred. No, boy, you you kept it looking like a fucking news anchor. No, boy, you look like one of that. What's that? Who's that dude? Tim Tim, uh, Tim Mar Steve Martin. Of a cheaper about a dozen. That's who you look like, boy. Somebody out and then have him in front of you. That's punk. Can't no, do that. but then you can actually just admit that you're wrong when the guy's delivering, because now he's delivering, he's still trashing. Oh, yeah, he's not admitting that he's yeah, wrong. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. If we went to a movie together. It's like she switched up from one side to another. Would we sit next to each other? Would you want a seat between us? You know, oh, Jesus. Because that's a tough I'd want to sit like nine rows behind you and, and just tug on your ponytail. <laughs> you savage. That's what I would do. Mine's lying to. First, I'm interested. Let me help out before you yell at me. <laughs> Isn't your idol Richard Pryor? Everybody? All right, let's go. Oh, no. You, you don't idol Richard Pryor? Come on. Good to see yeah, him. It's like asking a guitar player if he likes Hendrix. I mean, he's the man. All right. He's all right, the man. All right, all right. See how I do that? You just ask me a question, all of a sudden I make it uncomfortable? That's he didn't make it uncomfortable. Nobody I felt good. I felt good. I felt good. Make sure you, you mean, speak into the mic. Make sure you speak into the mic. There you go. You're whatever incognito. <laughs> You're an enigma. What, because I make a pie? No, you know what it is? You're not a good listener. You've known me for 10 years. You have no idea who I am. It's all about comedy with you and moving up the ladder. And pushing people up. A lot of people. Damn. Damn, did he just come at his friend? Hold on, let me, let me see that one more time. It sounded like he just came at his friend. Pause. People think that uh, they're uncomfortable with my... Whatever, incognito. You're an enigma. He took a he took a pause there for a second. He like, what? <laughs> what? Because I make a pie? No, you know what it is? You're not a good listener. You, you've known me for ten years. You have no idea who I am. It's all about comedy with you and moving up the ladder and pushing people. Up. Damn. Hey, bro. No, let let me just let me just say this real quick. He just told this man the truth to his face in front of everybody. He just said like, look, bro. You know what it is with you? You don't listen to me. Your own, the only thing you care about is fucking comedy. You know me for 10 years. The only thing you care about is comedy. Moving up the ladder and pushing people down. Damn, that's, that's, that's heavy, bro. A lot of people think that uh, they're uncomfortable with my, uh, my um, elevation. Are you uncomfortable with it? <laughs> no, I just see all of your insecurities. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my shit. giant desk. <laughs> you know, I've been on the same floor for this hour for almost over a year now. Um, Dude, bands tour for like four years and then fucking go right back in the studio, make another one and keep going. You got to toughen up, man. Yeah, you're right, huh? <laughs> yeah. What do I Your do? Camouflage you think? hat, looking like a fucking backwards guy, all tough and shit. You can't handle doing your hour again. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Suck it up. I heard you have a terrible theory, and I want you to say this. So your theory on Boston is let's just wait till LeBron's old. You don't want to be aggressive and get players. I didn't say that. What did you, you say? You got misinformation. What did you say? Well, why would you say I have a horrible theory without checking with me first? <laughs> right. You already threw me under the bus. Well, I get it. You got a big desk. <laughs> this dude is knocking it out of the park. He's one of my favorites. Here is Bill Burr. Ah, ha, ha. Look, Jimmy. At, look at you. How are you? Oh, it's I good. I love you did the audience applaud. <laughs> applause for everybody. Yeah, there he is. Come on. Get it going for him. While people are talking about eating fake... <laughs> 
Yeah. That was before. I, just, I don't want to be responsible that for that before. shit. I didn't. But the kid no, was in the no, fucking was building. Before. We shut up. We shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he talking shit to Joe Rogan. <laughs> hey, hey, Bill, you better watch how you talk that shit to Joe Rogan. He'll call you the N-word, and he'll beat your ass doing it. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I got to tell you, the Laker fans are even worse. I can't stand them. At least Yankee fans show up at the start of the game. Those Laker fans, they show up in, like, the second quarter. They had to get, like, Botox before they came down to the game. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm sure. You like living in L.A., you said. I love, yeah, I love L.A., and I also love, I like living there. I don't like their teams. I hate the Jets. I'm sick of people saying Rex. Jets. I'm sick of people saying Rex Ryan is confident. He's not confident. That guy cries himself to sleep with a vat of ice cream every night. <laughs> oh, I'm not buying it. <laughs> I think you're laughing. You were fucking yawning over here. No, the mushrooms are the fucking mushrooms. killing me, man. You know, I knew it just, wasn't just weed. I was yeah. just like, there's no way I'm taking a hit off of that. There's Mushroom. something going on. The fuck is he wearing, boy? Boy, get your boy. Get this man is wearing tights, them leggings, boy. This man is wearing mocha tights, bro. What is up with you, boy? I'm talking about Mike Tyson ass, boy. Get the fuck, boy. You look like <laughs> your ass look like the motherfucking, you know, the M and M's and the little M and M commercial and shit that be wearing. That. That's that's what you got, M and M legs and shit, boy. Wear a strong leg ass, boy. You can jump to the moon, boy. Strong leg ass, boy. Not here, mushrooms, baby. The shroom. I'm shrooming. <laughs> <laughs> Up this is. He's shrooming and he's wearing pants like he went riding a horse today. Like side saddle or some shit. I'm just gonna tell you how I discovered you. Well, you know, I, I do all my whole career to you. <laughs> yeah. I was no, no, no. I was struggling until no, no, no. Bobby Lee no, discovered me. Oh no, no, no. Oh, not no, discover wow. you in terms of like you did, did it on your own, obviously, but no, in terms of I, my awareness of you. Oh. Can I tell you that story? Oh, no, I remember it was a big... This dude, like, so I think his name is Bobby Wong, Bobby Long, whatever his name is. He's a comedian. I don't respect this dude. Like, it's not even the fact that, like, you know, it's not, I guess, it's not, I don't know, like, when the way he does things, like, I just don't really respect, I know, I've seen a few instances, and I think that was enough. I haven't seen anything new, but it's just, like, his demeanor, you know what I'm saying? I just, like, man, he just come off such a pump, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, just such a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to step your game up. And then it'd be like, you know what I'm saying? His comedy is very dry. It's not really funny. Maybe I should check out some stuff. I'm going to check out some stuff by him one time and see. Y'all can let me know, man. Maybe I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, he just always comes off to me like a little bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just see, though. Big day in my career. <laughs> Bobby Lee is finally aware of me. Bobby Lee. <laughs> Am I on Bobby Lee's radar? See, this is what he's going to do. This is when things start to happen. <laughs> is, I'm not going to allow this to happen. Reversal. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to allow this to happen. Reversal. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to plug away. You know what I mean? Listen, you can talk to him all you want. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Is that is that you in action or is this another Photoshop? That, yeah, it's a photo shoot. People do photo shoots. Yeah, I know. Have you ever seen like a movie poster and you'll see a movie star? I have. It's clearly... Five foot two, yet somehow he's as tall as the Superman. I have, I have. Yeah, that's that's a photo shoot. No fix stuff. Look, I'm sorry, you're just on the web, man. What is what is up with this weird little dynamic they got going on, bro? Bill Burr obviously is the only one that lightens the mood in there. This guy, boy, get your ugly fat Peter Parker looking at. I'm gonna get on your shit, boy. Yo, M. Hairline having ass, gonna get on your shit, boy. Thick Superman glasses. Maybe if I put these on, I'll fucking change. You ran in the phone booth, didn't get a call, ran back out and started raining. You slipped on the puddle and fucking hit that big ass nose on the concrete. And when you did that, that motherfucker said, ha! Stupid ass, I'm gonna get on your shit, boy. Is that a polo shirt? No, boy, that's polo assassin, boy. That mug is an assassin. It killed your polo horse, boy. I'm putting on your shit. You, you took it to, he took it to this place. I'm not trying to shit on his website. What is it called again? Huh? Zippity doodah dot com. <laughs> You've never taken a break in the middle of, the, of a gas station. I know, I had all this momentum going, now I gotta start all over again. <laughs> go ahead, go to the car. <laughs> See this? We won game one. Here comes the second of the double header. Because the older guy. Hold on. Hold on, real quick. Let's just watch this one more time. <laughs> See this? We won game one. Here comes the second of the double header. 
<laughs> well, just one, just real quick. Here comes the second of the double header. <laughs> you a grown ass man. <laughs> the fuck? What are you trying to hold your laughter in for? <laughs> Fart mouth ass. <laughs> Poop mouth ass. Ooh, ooh. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Just let out the laugh. It's a laugh. <laughs> you laugh. You don't. <laughs> Stupid ass, boy. You just goofy, bro. You a goofy ass nigga. I'm sorry. It's just, little stuff like that makes me just like, you just goofy, bro. What is you doing? It? <laughs> like, come on, bro. You a grown man, bro. <laughs> One more time. Bro. We won game one. Here comes the second look, of the. Look how goofy you look, boy. Get so up. Boy, you look like a lot of people, bro. You won. You're out of shape for the size that you are. Pause. You're out of shape. You need to you need to work out if you're going to be that tall. Most people want to be that tall. I can tell he's tall because he's big as hell sitting in a chair, bro. I know you're tall. Bro, like you look like every, you look like every fucking body does. You look like everything in corporate America. You just look like corporate America. You are corporate America. You are everything that's wrong with corporate America. And then you have the nerd. The look at double header. Because the older guys, Robert Kelly's and all, they all call you Billy. Colin calls you Billy. But I fucking Bill. You I'm know just what I mean? immediately noticing. That I don't know about the chain if it's if it's <laughs> yeah. thick enough to be yeah. that warm, that level of confidence. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, well, it's, well, it's more of a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> when the chain's out, yeah, he, just, has, he has on a fat chick ankle bracelet. Or yeah. Yeah. Fucking, uh, I love that you have the jib camera for this, like it's an action movie. Let's 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 swoop in at these two guys sitting in these unbelievably <laughs> small chairs. I literally feel like I'm gonna fall onto the floor. This is insane. You really went all out with the audience, though. They got full size adult chairs. <laughs> yeah. Now to wear oh, okay. this. This is my nightclub look. Yeah, okay. come on. All right. This is this is. I guess this is the internet, right? You just sort of just throw it out there. I just throw it out there. I figure you're a funny yeah, guy. Yeah, and I, I'll and throw I it out there. I'll throw it out there too. Well, here's the deal. Bill's a comedian. He's at the punchline. He's in town, and you're a funny guy. You've got these routines in your head, so I figure I'll toss you a mic, and you go. And I'm going to do stand up in front of nine people in a radio station? No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you're taking the fun out of what, Southside I'll, Steve I'll take, TV. I'll take, uh, how about I give you five bucks and I want to watch you line dance and you're, I'm a racist. <laughs> 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 the fat ass shoes, boy. You got, boy, you got real gators on. No, those aren't gators, boy. Those are beavers. Dance. And you're, I'm a racist. <laughs> those are definitely beaters. They're, they're not gators. Those are beavers. <laughs> look at them. Look at them. <laughs> Christian background is is part of the the show. Yes, and I episodes. wanted to talk to you about Jesus after this. Well, I, <laughs> not, the only reason why I bring it up is some people thought maybe you went a little too far. You know, as far you, as what? Well, they thought that maybe you were being disrespectful to the Christian religion. Who is? So, I'm telling you, you need to Google. <laughs> oh, good lord! So, I, did I, you I, feel I, you were being so... disrespectful, or just you you were just having fun with some of the crucifixes and stuff like that? I don't even know what you, I mean, we did maybe two jokes was, about that. Yeah, exactly. Don't you think the Catholic Church went a little too far? <laughs> <laughs> More so than my cartoon. All right, listen. A couple you... of jokes. I know this is a morning show. You can't bring up all those crimes. You know what? Technically. They just, they just sort of kept moving them around. You know, like those killer whales at SeaWorld. After it kills a trainer, they'll then move it up to Seattle. They don't give them their background. All right, I'm not <laughs> totally following. But uh, I don't think I want to. You know what I'm to. talking about? It's. Look, look, no, no, no. You're following. He said the Catholic religion. I'm not here to speak about the Catholic religion. I'm not going to do it. All right? I'll leave that where it's at. What Bill is saying is that you know like the Catholic religion and their scandals. You know like killer whales after they kill whatever. Then they move the whale up to another place. It did, they didn't get rid of the whale. They just relocated it, all right? After it's done its crime. That's what he's saying. You understand that, man. It's a morning show. I understand. Like, Eight times he came positive. on, positive. that kid positive. was missed the graduation, and then, then it was a feel-good story. It was a feel-good, and we want to leave. If you now he's mad. Look at him. He's mad. 
He is mad. I wanna feel good about- Look how he's looking. Look, look! <laughs> Angry cookie hell now, boy. I'm gonna get on your ugly ass. Boy, I know, I, I know good and well somebody took an iron to your lining, boy. Mm, let me just get it. He said, hey, bro, that man, when he sat down in the barber's chair, he was just like, hey, bro, give me the iron, bro. No, nah, no, nah, fuck all that. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. I don't want a number two. I don't want a number three. I'm feeling like an iron today. Give me an iron. The, the barber was like, this is going to be some work. He like, he's like, it's going to be some work. But I got you. Yeah! Stupid ass. About America, you watch the morning shows. You don't watch this, you know? And we were joking earlier. If that kid's story about the graduation was late night, that would have been a whole different story. What do you think? He's still missing. We can't <laughs> find him. All we found was his hat. But you watch in the morning. It's great. It all worked out. He got his own personal graduation. Like, I was in such a great mood. Look how yellow this couch is. It's like the sun. But do you like my mic? Uh, no, I don't. I don't, please. Is that uncomfortable? Is this uncomfortable? This is, yeah, no, don't, man. Honestly. Can I, can I take the mic? Sure. Now, that's number, the number one thing you don't do. As I learned that in broadcasting never. school, you never give up the microphone. See, now I have the power. This Bob Barker thing. Yeah. You're, you're uh, what is this? Rock 100.5. Mm -hmm. This is the worst interview I've ever done. <laughs> and he's wearing Stetson cologne or something. It's just really... Over, overpowering. How you, doing? you know what he looks like? He looks like the first guy who gets his ass kicked in a Steven Seagal movie. <laughs> oh, the background guy behind the, uh, the, the big kingpin. Why don't you handle it? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I legit. This, that, this was legit great for me. I, I really, really enjoy this Bill Burr roasting people to their face. Like, I'm talking about like. I think he really excels when he's off script and he's just being himself. Like, yeah, I mean, no, don't get me wrong, his comedy is great. But I'm just saying, when he's off script and he just being himself, I, I really feel like he excels there. Y'all, that's the video for today. So if you appreciate the video, go down below. Let me know that you appreciate the video. Hit that like button. Be safe. Guess what? Peace.